Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making golden milk, which is also vegan. It's made with almond milk, turmeric, some spices, it's anti-inflammatory, it is really really good for you, and let's get so into it. So the ingredients that you will need to make this at home is almond milk, I buy unsweetened kind just because it's better for you, it has less additives in it, maple syrup, a natural sweetener, turmeric, which is the anti-inflammatory, black pepper to activate the curcumin in the turmeric, cinnamon for spice, ginger, and let's get All started. Right, so the saucepan is on high and you do have to cook this over heat so you can activate the good properties of the turmeric and the black pepper. So I'm going to measure about a little bit more than a cup of almond milk and pour it into the saucepan. It's totally okay if that happens, just turn it down a little bit. Probably about, oh, I want to say a cup and a quarter. Next step is to add the turmeric, as you can see right here. You're going to add about a half a teaspoon. Teaspoon goes in the saucepan. And I'll show you guys in a minute what it all looks like. So half a teaspoon of turmeric and a few cracks of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ginger. Now you could use fresh ginger and fresh turmeric, but I don't have that in the house right now. So we just make do with what we got. I do prefer fresh ginger though, it has way better taste. So I will come back for the next All the ingredients step. into the saucepan, you want to whisk it all together so it's really combined. And just heat it until you can smell it, you can smell the spices, and it's hot enough for you to drink. Next up is optional if you want any sweetness in your golden milk, but I like it just because it adds a little bit of something, something. Just add a teaspoon, of roughly, of maple syrup and let that all come together and then you strain it out into a mug. I transferred the golden milk mixture into this Pyrex measuring cup just so it would be easier for me to pour into my mug. So I have it fitted with a small little tea strainer because I don't have a different one on top. And I strain it through just to get all, you know, the little particles and bits out that I can just so it's all smooth and in one uniform consistency. And I will show you how it tastes. All right, you guys, as you can see, this is the finished product. It looks super smooth, super creamy, and like I said, no particles of spice anywhere just because I strained it out so it'd be extra smooth. And now I'll show you how it tastes. All right, time for the big taste test, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is so warm and soothing, especially in the fall season. It's so comforting. So good for your gut and your health in general. Please make it at home. I drink it all the time now. I'm so obsessed. It's like spicy but sweet and just ugh, so amazing. So tune in next time.